heavy snow warning for Canterbury and Kaikoura. Tonight, the South Island's biggest city is reeling from the heaviest snowfalls it's ever experienced. Even at sea level, snow is lying up to a metre deep, smothering houses and blocking roads. Parts of the city are underwater as rivers burst their banks and ruin homes. With the rain continuing as it is, uh, we could have quite a nasty flood here. It could be uh, worse than the one we had in 1957. In hillside suburbs, slips are blocking roads and destroying property. Cars without four-wheel drive became useless in the conditions and trees brought down by the weight of the snow created further hazards. Traffic accidents were stretching police resources beyond capacity. Well, not to do with uh, non-injury motor actions, they have to be pushed to the side of the road. Uh, once I've been cheated, there were no injured persons. The phone lines into police headquarters were jammed in the control room as a frightened public called for help. Mostly people that are stranded, um, uh, fears of relatives they haven't heard from, um, old people that uh, have no heating, no, no power, um, no food, uh, rest homes that run out of wood and uh, that type of call. People in distress, basically. It was the same story in the St John's Ambulance Control Centre. Well, if, we, if you just tell them that um, the police are on their way, then they'll help them out. And I'll put you back to hand because we have got work waiting. Volunteers from four-wheel drive clubs kept the emergency services mobile. Police warned people to keep off the streets as power lines were down in many areas, but some did venture out to collect essential supplies such as food. At lunchtime, snow was still lying in Cathedral Square, a sight not seen in the city for almost 50 years. Few shops have bothered opening, but bus services have been operating the main routes, though passengers are few and far between. Passengers at Christchurch Airport were going nowhere fast today. Their transport literally put on ice as graders tried to sweep the runway free. Flights resumed this afternoon, and travellers going north found some comic relief to the drama. Someone has kept their sense of humour amidst the city's worst natural disaster in years. Rose Daly.